Hello everyone and welcome to this video. So today I'll talk about a sneak peek of new horses that Star Stable posted to their Instagram and I'll also talk about some upcoming updates and later on I'm going to check out new main story quests that we got this Wednesday. So as always, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you do, make sure to subscribe, it really means a lot and now let's get into it! So I just started editing this video and Star Civil posted a new blog on their Star Civil Entertainment website and it's titled Star Civil February Blog Narrative Design Servers and Player Character Updated and I thought that I would just go over the player character update part so yeah let's just go and check it out. So it starts with for this month of February, we wanted to dive a little bit more into the technical aspect of character update. The research phase was a long and intense period where each answer was bringing more questions. We will detail here some of the key moments and challenges. It was clear very early on every feature upgrade we could implement would have to be analyzed by each team to identify the impact on their workload. We wanted to focus first on diversity and inclusivity, therefore our first steps focused on skin color, body shapes and hair. It may seem easy to add more skin colors, but it's not that simple to make them look good. In Star Stable, our textures are hand-painted and we're lighting the whole world the same way, as lights have a huge impact on performance. We had to experiment with painting highlights in a lot of different ways so skin tones don't look too shiny during the day or too dark during the night. We're happy with the progress we made so far and we know that in the future we'll be able to have even better results. Following lighting updates. It is quite easy to understand how much body shape in impacts the game. Each animation, mounting, sitting on a chair, each piece of clothing needs to be remade or adapted. Our great developers massively helped building what we call additive animation, which allows us to mostly use the same animations for every body shape, and then add a specific layer to correct the differences. It's not only reducing the workload of the animators, but it's also better for the game's performance. We're still experimenting on clothes and have had positive results so far. On that topic, the challenge is not only the quantity, but also the fact that they have been created over a 10 years time frame, during which technology has evolved a lot. It is then harder, maybe impossible to find a solution applicable on every item, so we'll also explore different options if those obstacles arise. It is really heartwarming to read all your positive comments on last month's post. You can see in the following picture how our 2D and 3D artists are working hand in hand to offer an amazing new character. We can't wait to show you more next month. And here are the pictures. The first one says body shape test and the second one work in progress concept. And on the bottom, there's also just some, you know, 2D art, possibly, you know, different hairstyles. I actually really like this, you know, short bob. Is it a bob? I don't know. And there's a little horse or pony. That looks cute. I'm happy that they're working on it, though it seems like they're kind of slow, but okay, at least they've started, I guess. So yesterday Starcible posted this sneak peek picture to their Instagram and in the caption they said Your vision folklore abounds with tales of tree spirits appearing as horses and nearly every tree has its own story. It's time for you to meet Berker and Hanami. 
The burkar is the horse of the birch tree and hanami belongs to cherry trees. Stay tuned to see full reveal. Please note that these horses are inspired by previous one time only magical bark hearts birch and sakura who will not be returning to Jorvik in the future as they were exclusive for a specific period of time. Burger and Hanami will, however, come back to Jorvik in the future again. So, oh my gosh, in my previous, like, spoiler video, I talked about how I thought that Star Sable will release the old Sakura and Birch, but it seems like they're really not doing it, and I'm not sure why, but like, I know we can't really see the horses, but I really like how they look. I really like the bottom one. And I wonder which model they're gonna be. Some people are saying uh, Marwari and Pertram. Some are also saying like Walsh ponies. I think the bottom one, as I said, is really cute. I, I love its purple eyes. Like, they didn't say when they're coming out. And since they didn't really mention it on, on Next Stop in Jorvik, I feel like it's gonna be a few weeks before we actually get them. Another thing that happened this week was Star Sable released. Star Sable on mobile in Europe. And if you have an iOS, you can basically play Star Sable on your phone, on your iPad, whatever else. Which I think is cool. I have an Android, so I'm not gonna be doing that. But as I said, if you have an Apple, make sure to download Star Sable if you want to play it wherever you are. So anyway, here are some things that we're gonna get in the following weeks in Star Sable. So the first one is Horses of Jorvik, and here it says, Giddy up! Guillermo Gadea is back with a Western-themed race for Horses of Jorvik. You can race with your Gotland Pony, Shinko Tick Pony, and Welsh Pony. And the week after that, we're getting some new tag, as well as some magical horses coming back. And the first part of the update is a snazzy line of bridles. A snazzy line of bridles is available based on highly requested versions of existing bridles. Take your pick from a classic drop noseband bridle to a sturdy western rope halter. In the same week, Rex Stamper's new clothing collection has dropped. Level up your style with matching helmets, gloves, and shirts. The Peacock Butterfly Horses, Darsha, and Solas are making a reappearance. So yeah, the next updates are definitely not as exciting as it was this week. I haven't actually checked the main story yet, but yeah, now I'm just going to go in the game and play the main story. <laughs> I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain Some things are not the same as they were a year ago But all will be okay, I move on each and every day The past is where it stays, way back a year ago I've changed for the better this time I thought I would never be fine I strive just to say I'm alright And for the first time in a long time I'm alright I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain Some things are not the same as they were a year ago but all will be okay I move on each and every day The past is where it stays Way back a year ago Take what comes and goes and ain't no one in life holding me back no more 
I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain Some things are not the same, as they were a year ago But all will be okay, I move on each and every day The past is where it stays, way back a year ago Cause I've been living life right like I could just die 
Thank you.